cesarean scar pregnancy uh, are again uh, confirmed in this paper and they're demonstrated in this image. An empty uterine cavity. This again is an antiverted uterus. You can see the cervical canal, then trophoblast up here into the niche. Then you can see the endometrial cavity is here and then it goes back up there. So you can see that the upper endometrial cavity, the uterine cavity is empty. The placenta or gestational sac should be embedded in the hysterotomy scar. So here you can see, it's not the best, but I'll show you a better picture in a minute. This is trophoblast embedded deeply into a niche. And I can't show you the negative sliding sign in this still image, but you can see strong vascularity where the trophoblast is actually invading the myometrium. A triangular gestation sac. Here you can just see a little triangle. Sometimes that is more obvious than in other times um, because the niche of this scar is in fact filled with trophoblast, not so much the sac. A thin or absent myometrium between the sac and the bladder. In this case, the bladder is empty. It's better if you have it slightly filled. I'll show you a good video in a minute. Closed cervix, an empty endocervical canal. Here again is where the bladder attaches to the um, uterus. So this is more or less the level of the internal os. So this is the cervical canal. And you can see that the pregnancy is nowhere near it. Then you need either um, a, a, a yolk sac and or an embryo with or without a fetal heart. And prominent vascularity showing that the trophoblast is embedded in the myometrium and not just passing through.